Just recently, the five leading airline groups in Europe called for nothing less than a revolution. Flying more than 400 million passengers per year, the members of Airlines for Europe account for half of the continent's passenger journeys. Every day, more than 2,100 of their airplanes cross the continent, and 300,000 employees in the air and on the ground ensure safe and reliable operations. Now, it's time for a change and a fresh approach to promote the interests of European airlines and their passengers. The European Union needs a clear plan to improve the competitiveness of aviation. One that supports the growth of our industry, one that saves existing jobs and creates new ones in Europe's aviation sector. A comprehensive and effective European aviation strategy must involve specific actionable measures that address all the stakeholders in the aviation value chain. We therefore highly welcome the EU aviation strategy. It is an important first step into the right direction. The Lufthansa Group is ready and willing to support the new aviation strategy of the European Commission with specific measures that help create a more competitive and healthy industry. In the interest of Europe's economic development and in the interest of the millions of travelers who fly with us every day. Aviation is a driver for economic growth and job creation, generating one trillion GDP within the European Union. In a very tough and competitive environment, we have to pay attention to all our costs. In this cost, airport charges represent a very dynamic and an increasing proportion of our cost. For the 21 largest airport in Europe, the airport charges have increased by two-thirds in the last 10 years, in contradiction with the low fares that European airlines are delivering to our passengers. The target of our association is to reduce these charges and to lobby European governments and European authorities to reform the airport regulation and to control security costs for the interest of our passengers and customers. Several European countries continue to impose unreasonable taxes on aviation. In effect, the EU is taxing an enabler of economic activity. Evidence shows that passenger taxes are counterproductive, reducing economic output and therefore government revenue. Experience from countries such as the Netherlands and Ireland shows that when these taxes are removed, aviation and economic activity significantly increases. The EU needs to act to ensure these taxes are lifted, leading to more travel, more investment, more trade, and ultimately increased jobs and growth. We are calling on the EU to remove all unreasonable taxes on aviation activity. Every year, millions of Europe citizens and visitors have their flights cancelled or delayed by air traffic control strikes or slot delays. Most, if not all, of these are avoidable if Europe takes action to 1. Utilise the new technology that already exists to keep airspace open and 2. Require ATC to use binding dispute resolution mechanisms which eliminate the need for strikes. The EU should revise its single European sky strategy to make better use of EU funding to ensure ATC providers become more efficient and serve the needs of Europe's citizens. We at A4E are calling for EU action to prevent ATC strikes disrupting millions of passengers and urgent reform of the single European Sky legislation. Thank you. We support several key principles, in particular, of course, our commitment to safety, our support for pro-competition policy and regulation within the EU, and our opposition to state aid. We have outlined a coherent and practical package of measures to support growth and European consumers. Airlines have continuously delivered lower fares for consumers over the last two decades, now is the time to ensure that these reductions are matched by other parts of the industry. We will take our proposed measures to the Commission to increase competition, to encourage efficiency and to reduce costs in other parts of the industry. We'll continue to work together to promote the interests of all our passengers.